I was thinking that we should talk about what we're going through right now, but it'll be for like a future video. Okay, so this is for us in the future sharing things. This, Linda, can we talk one second? So, pretty much, we are one day late. Hello. With my no, not right now, not right now. Hold on, Lou. And we had sex 10 times in April. the month of April, and amongst those 10 times, something happened. I don't and know what obviously it we we know what happened but I didn't I didn't his pull out game is weak. Yeah, it's not necessarily <laughs> pull out game is weak. I didn't splash in Daddy, where like did I didn't go. I we did don't not know come, that. But that's what I'm saying. I didn't I know that I pulled out and I, I come like this is going a little bit too non PG Yeah. But I'm just saying that I pulled out. I you know, there's towels that I splashed, you know, stuff like that. Um, and it just shows me that, you know, not everything is like 100% because I'm a G. We've been at it for how many years without, you know, and then for it to happen, we, we planned our two kids. You understand what I'm saying? We tried for Lucas. We tried for Millie, you know, and we weren't trying for whoever's coming you know and at this point we don't know if it's one or two or three because i remember the last time we did it and then she saw my liquids she was like you see that's triplets right there said triplets? <laughs> yeah you said triplets and i was just like whoa okay and then it's very high for women in their 30s to have twins but if it is twins i'll be excited for them you know if you're wondering what we're hoping for at this point right now, even though we only need one day late, one day late, our, my period can come. We're, Still. We're, yeah, exactly. So, you know, yeah. So uh, maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves. Maybe it's just. But the signs have late. been there that it's been it was gonna happen because uh -huh. everybody kept talking about baby number three or are yeah. you expecting yeah Kadeen Kadeen was like three <laughs> um, and, and, then, and she was like N N and I was like oh and no no N yet the kids have been talking about baby baby in my belly mm -hmm. and then conversations that we had like with people like they'll be like oh mm -hmm. yeah and then hurry up and have baby three and mm -hmm. all this yeah. other stuff I'll be completely happy like I'm excited right now. I'm already clocking how much coffee she's drinking, and it's it only was been so one annoying. day. And she actually had an alcoholic beverage too, so um, <laughs> uh, maybe she's saying her last hoorah with that damn pina colada that I made yesterday for Mother's Day. But yeah, man, it's it's interesting. You know, I don't feel mad or sad or anything like that. I just feel like, you know, the same way I felt before, you know, um, just hustle and, you know, provide a better location, a better place to, to live with our family or whatnot and not be in my mom's household. All in all, I'm just praying for a healthy child, no matter the, the sex right now, but... If you ask me what we want, what I want is a boy. So it's just, I'm gonna just say it out there. But I get a girl, be happy to, you know. It's, that's my, that'll be my daughter. It'll be clash diva, clashing between her, her, million. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll be a clash either way, cause they, she's clingy to mommy, and when mommy giving that breast milk, boy, mm, she's gonna be fighting. Why it's the same day, it's May 14, 2018, and I just got in the house, and I'm feeding the kids.
kids. Millie, stop. Feeding the kids, and I'm eating my money with pois. And then all of a sudden, the phone rings, and it's my older brother, my oldest brother. I have named Bradley, and he's on three way. Excuse me, he's on three way with my my brother, my other brother Mario, and. I don't know how to play this. My mom. And they, they, they both called my mom because he ah! spoke to my brother first and was like, somebody had a dream. He had a dream. Bradley had a dream about fishes. And the thing is, in our culture, and, and fishes mean pretty much new life. Someone's pregnant, but they they trying to pin it on my brother Mario, <laughs> and Mario's trying to pin it on me. <laughs> and I'm like, it is me as of right now. <laughs> so I'm kind of whispering, so my mom can't hear me talking. So hopefully you guys hear me talking. It's very hilarious, but the story. Give me one second. I'll come back. Yesterday, in that clip that I said I'll be right back <laughs> and I never came back. He went and, and we took got, a deuce. I went and took a damn deuce, And boy, forgot. And forgot to come back. Millie. But the thing is, um, before I explain what I was gonna explain, this is May 15, right? Yes, 2018. 2018. And, and right now it is two days this, late. She is two days late. But it, but it also means I'm actually four weeks if I am actually pregnant. Yeah. So. So two days late. They probably can't see. Yeah. Two days late and then it's four weeks pregnant because you start you counted from the first day of your last Hold period. Hold on, Millie. What's wrong? What do you want, before? All right. So let me tell you the story now. And and I got carried away of, you know, fixing, rearranging the room. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Bradley, Bradley and Mario. is my older brother. And Mario is also my older brother, but he's younger, younger than, than Bradley. Bradley. And Bradley called him, pretty much explained what he explained, what I'm about to explain to you. So they Mommy. called my mom. Because she's the interpreter of dreams. Of, yeah, pretty much. So ever since my grandmother um, pretty much passed. So basically they explained to my mom the dream. So yeah. now I'm gonna explain to you the dream. But they was pin they started pinning it on people. And they pinned it on us. on us. Mario pinned it on us. Because he was trying to pin it on Mario. But they, they didn't think like we were trying. We weren't trying. Daddy, daddy! But, <laughs> <laughs> but we weren't not trying. We because weren't obviously. not trying because yeah, you see where we at right now. <laughs> anyway, um, let's wait for the breeze. The last time I saw Bradley was when, when I was, was pregnant, pregnant with Millie. Millie. So, let's let's get to the story. So the story is, he Bradley had a dream that he he went up to some kind of lake or pond or whatever the case may be, and the person had these fishes. And then Bradley goes, let me get those fishes right there. Pretty much he got multiples, right? Multiple of the, the fishes. And the guy told him, uh, those ain't good. You don't want those. And for some reason, um, he said, nah, give me those. They still good. So he takes them and he puts them in like a... Hey, stop, stop. He puts them in like a vase, I guess. He said he took them and put them in the vase and, and he put some water in there. And then he started seeing them moving around, flipping around and stuff. And that was pretty much the dream of him. And then he seen, he just saw multiple fishes. And he was like, wow, somebody's about to have a kid or something. In the, in the dream, for some reason, fishes mean when, this, when somebody dream fishes, it means 
that new life is gonna come about pretty much so right now he's pretty much saying yeah. that somebody that has literally yesterday yeah that somebody one day late, one day late <laughs> like somebody has has to be pregnant and they're gonna have more than one so if it turns out to be that we're having two three no, i don't know you don't, you can't even control it <laughs> <laughs> you can't even control it i didn't have no control god knows over this. what we want god so knows that's it so we'll we'll see what happens god like, will probably like this is the right time to have twins and he just let it happen if, it, if that happens like for for those of you hold on boo boo hold on boo boo hold on mm. so so for those of you who don't believe in like dreams and like spiritual stuff and afterlife and before life and all of this stuff you guys better think again man <laughs> i'm like this is not so is that this mama christopher like she's lightheaded she need to take a seat just rough right now. Yeah. I feel dizzy and lightheaded. I ain't gonna be a guitar Yeah, so we're taking a break. Let's see what happens. But we're just getting our bag situated. I'm gonna walk through. All right, guys. So we made it to the office, and we're here. I'm waiting. Crystal went to go do her urine test. Well, she had to go pee anyway, so she had to do the pee in the cup and all of that stuff. So. <laughs> They're gonna check that and then they're going. Well, we're gonna end up in a room at some point, but have the kitties here with me. And I don't know, you wanna talk about how you feel and all of that stuff? I feel and nauseous. Then... I've been nauseous the whole time since we found out. Yeah. Like the third, maybe the third day after. Since we found out, we didn't find out anything. Right now, we're about to find out. <laughs> well, since I was late. Yeah. We never took we never took a pregnancy test or anything like that. Pick up Moana, please. So this one is not gonna get like the visuals of like finding out, you know, like how Millie's. Yeah, this you know, is whatnot. the visual right this now. This is the visual Official. now. We just came straight to the doctor because when she I just started having the symptoms, my boob is also and black. Late and her nipples is turning. Come let me fix Moana's hair. It's not black yet, but it's turning. Yeah, and I feel nauseous every day, all day. I'm just going to fix my arm this year. It's like the cameras get more and more advanced right? every time we come here. We started recording off our phones. Wait, it's okay. Mommy's going to be okay, okay? We're going to see if there's a baby in Mommy's belly. Just look at the screen. Look at the TV screen. see our baby in um in crystal's belly and it's insane like you know it's it's seven weeks in one day seven weeks in one day um we are due for january we're having a january baby it's crazy, yeah, it's crazy. i feel like the baby's gonna come early in december come on give me a hand so, yeah i know once they say the baby right, guys, six pounds, and so like, oh, real get fast, because um, my mom's coming up the steps. So basically, she's going through her pregnancy symptoms and all of that stuff. So, all right, they're back. Um, the boys are here too. What up? What up, sorry. 
but um, I was gonna talk pregnancy talk and how she's feeling, but um, she could talk about that at some other time because she hasn't been picking up the camera, so I'm trying to get her to, but she don't want to because of all of her feelings, so I'm forcefully doing it. She's currently doing Lucas here right now, and. You know, obviously feeling nauseous. The nausea is still there right now? Yeah. Uh, not as bad as it was before. Um, she's been getting lightheaded. She's been... Um, I don't know. But if she's. I, I noticed that she's eating a, a little bit more than she used to when this all began. And um, what else have I noticed? Um, she's kind of straying away from me um, at the moment, kind of. I was surprised I got a hug this morning. Um, it's, it's, it's something about my breath now, even though it's brushed. Like, even if I brush my teeth or whatnot, I don't have bad breath. But it's just like something about the smell of my breath or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I brush, I mouthwash, I, I floss, so I do all the right things. I haven't had um, bad breath at all thus far in my life. Um, nothing can has caused me to have bad breath. Um, no one ever told me I had bad breath, but uh, my, wife, my wife would have never dated me if I had bad breath. <laughs> just a heads up. Um, so it's just like, I don't know, her senses and... Everything is just going cuckoo, but it's slightly getting better. At least it's not the odor of my body because um, my body odor was the issue when she was pregnant with. Um... You recorded that? No, I just started recording this now. <laughs> so this will be nice content to show. Because we didn't show the throwing up of either. These two that's coming, that the two that's here, yeah. And show we didn't show that much this throwing is, uh, up. Oh, it's just this is my third one today. Yes, this is the most she's thrown up thus thus far in a day. Cause there's some days that you don't throw up at all, and there's some days that she just threw up one time. But cause she's no. not saying that she wasn't nauseous. This no. fourth one. Who? Fourth one. The fourth time throwing up today. And we're actually on our way to um, Screamers. I'll save these bags for customers that's gonna throw up. Well, I haven't had, I have one customer that came prepared with their own bag and threw up in it. But this that's is, coffee. my wife been using Daddy, this right here. coffee. That's not, it's not coffee, that's iced tea. Mm. Let's get out of here. You good? Mm. You sure? Mm. Today's the 11th of June. 2018 and your mama ain't doing a goddamn thing okay she got me busting sweats in here what did i do she ain't doing a damn thing okay why are you saying like that because <sighs> you're nauseous and all of that stuff 24 7 seven days a week with you in the belly okay you are picky like your brother you really know he's not that picky now but as far as womb goes I'm the only one talking here she says um, she don't like the smell of my scent now showered or not showered right either one so she has to take deep breaths but the other night she was all hugged up on me anyway I don't know. Lower it's confusing. Party. Low party. I was on Loba. your stomach. I wasn't near your feet. Oh, okay. So you could deal with my body scent. You just it looked deal with like that night I could deal with it. Mm. So I was on his stomach. And I just couldn't sleep that night. And I just felt like being held. But he was out. So I like put my tucked head on her his stomach. Under me. Put my legs in between his she legs. She was tucked all under and me. fell asleep. I don't know how I ended up on the other side of the bed. I think he pushed me off. I didn't push you off. But yeah, I just, 
I just wanted to be held that night. Because mm. what he wants to do is not what he, I want. He wants to throw his whole body on me. No, I wasn't trying to throw and your whole kiss, body on kiss, you. Kiss, kiss, kiss. No, I wasn't trying to kiss you. Like, I can't smell you. I can't. And he's not I wasn't trying to that. do anything. What do you mean I'm not understanding that? I don't even touch you. I don't even come near you. This girl talking about, oh, you coming mad close. I'm on the edge of the bed. How am I coming mad close? Girl, let me sleep, okay? I told her from now on, I'm going to just sleep on Millie's bed with Millie. And she could take the whole bed for herself. I'm done. I give in. I feel so drained. I woke up today. What time did you wake up? To leave. What time did you leave? He left at 6.30. I woke up at 7.30. But I fell back to sleep. And he woke me up at 8. Lucas. So I got them dressed to go outside. We ate breakfast first. And then I packed everything so we could be outside for at least like 2-3 hours. I didn't think I would be out all day because I know how I'm going to, how I feel. So I didn't expect to be out all day. So we left here like around 10 o'clock and we walked to the park and we had like a little blanket and we brought paint, they painted and they ran around the park like the grass area where we were sitting. And meanwhile, I was just stretching my legs because my legs had felt like, 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 I don't know how to explain it, but like when you haven't stretched in a while and like the inside of your thighs, like it felt like stiff. That's how I felt like a, for like a, for like weeks now. So I was just stretching. And then we ate some more. And then we got up and we went to the, to watch the turtles and the ducks. The ducks were fighting. And then we started walking like towards to go out the park but let me just tell you that walking to the park i got exhausted and nauseous but i didn't throw up thank god now walking back out the park i was drained but i just kept saying like you know you can do it you can do it but as I got here, I got lightheaded, but I wanted to unpack everything because I knew if I didn't unpack it now, I'm not going to unpack it later. So I unpacked the stroller, unpacked everything, uh, the, the dirty stuff, the dirty dishes. I didn't wash them yet, though. They're still in the bag, but I just made, you know, wash their hands. They had just eaten, so their sandwich so they're not hungry so i put millie down for a nap but she's not napping and lucas is on this ipad and i'm gonna take a nap but i feel so drained so drained like my whole body feels weak and i just feel like i need a nap and i'm out of breath i was thinking about um, like a month ago when I was going to the park with the kids on our play dates with Tamar and I was like I was out of breath a lot and I'm like was that an early sign of me being pregnant because I haven't been out of breath like that in a while and I was going to the gym so I don't understand why I was so out of breath but now I'm out of breath
Oh. And she was, she was looking at all in diapers as a newborn. Yeah. <laughs> diapers to her mommy. With Millie? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is true. We started probably training when I was still pregnant. Yeah. I had a meltdown yesterday. She kept crying, 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 crying. <sighs> she didn't want to eat. She didn't want to eat her roti. She didn't want to eat cereal. She didn't want to eat. Because I gave them Cheerios. We eat the Cheerios. Then I gave her bread and jelly. She didn't want to eat it. So then I went in the shower. They didn't want me to go in the shower. So I went in the shower. I had to shower. And I wanted to lay down. And they just started yelling. Maybe because you, maybe when you called the phone, it scared them. And I just started crying in the bathroom. Just, I was just sad. About everything, I guess. Everything. My hormones. Just everything. I was just sad. She's still feeling nauseous and all of that stuff. She threw up once yesterday. And she threw up three times on Thursday, but the rest of the week she didn't. And those three days before the week, she didn't vomit. Did you throw up on Sunday? I don't think so. I think you did, because I think you did. Because I remember you feeling nauseous and all that. All of that but Let's not count Sunday, we're counting from Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, no throw up. Thursday, throw up three times. Friday, one time, which is yesterday. Today is Saturday, and thus far, nothing yet. She felt like it, though, after she ate. And Millie was sitting on her belly and whatnot on the whip. And then getting hot and all that stuff. All those things is like... Nauseating, so that's one. So we'll see if she gets through the, through today, and um, yeah, tomorrow's a new it's a new week. Hold up. One second, Millie, you good? Millie, you good? I want Huh? One second, buddy. I'm trying to get evidence for baby I'm N. Filming. Why are you filming? Mm. So just in case you be like, yeah, I don't remember these days or anything like that. I don't remember. And I'm like, well, I got footage. Of your ass early. This is baby number three. Damn, ninja is like fresh in your feet. Look at ninja. Look at this. She's like, I can't throw it with these I motherfuckers right here. <laughs> these motherfuckers are like, I gotta step back. Uh, that belly, look at that belly. You only like 10 weeks, B. 10 weeks and some days. 10 weeks and two days? Three days? Mm. That's cool. You ain't gotta throw up. Let's go, man. You ain't gotta throw up. I know you're gonna go away. But today is June 28th, 2018. Yeah, it's June 28th. And we're here. Um, she's been doing a lot better with everything. Getting kind of her energy back. Less bed. Well, her laying on the bed is kind of lying right now, but definitely less bed. Um, but she do have her moments where she's like feeling the drainage of the day if she skips her nap she takes her nap with Millie and yeah so she's laying there you see how she's laying booty up it's always tempting to grab you know I always want to grab the booty or whatever the case may be so I'll grab it like right here because mm. that's how close I can get to her but you don't want me touching for some reason. But anyway, um, <laughs> off that. Uh, yeah, she, she. I've been trying to watch her throw up patterns, and 
is more thus far these past two weeks it's been common for her to throw up on oh no it hasn't been common it's been sporadic like it's just been triggers but yesterday she did twice well if you consider this morning in the middle of the night as today then that's today and one today and one yesterday in the car that I experienced with her and what else babe and it hasn't been too frequent but I'm making sure you guys stay a part of the journey or whatnot it's really difficult to put you know get on the camera we haven't been vlogging daily we haven't been um, even though we should have vlogged yesterday yesterday was the 27th of June and I actually went to go see um, my potential um, studio um, I'm, a, I'm trying to get a studio and yeah but to go see that is pretty cool like it's inspiring it's motivating to see these things and um hopefully i can get it soon anyway um i'm gonna swing it over to her and i guess she i guess she'll try to give you the real detail because I'm, I'm only speaking from what i see but how i feel in this situation um i feel um motivated um more than before and um, our goals are pressured to um, come to light um, quicker than we expected it and um, this this is like I feel like God always put me in these positions because he felt that I thrive in these situations so as of right now with his blessings um, I'm pushing through and keeping a positive mind I'm reconstructing myself physically and mentally and um, dealing with my day-to-day -day stresses and um, she's you know yeah. Right now, I feel a tad bit nauseous. I don't know why, though. And I think I'm going to just go eat in a second. I'm just waiting for the smell to go away. Because I don't know if it smells out there. It smells out there? I don't smell anything. You got pregnancy nose. It's a whole different thing. I'm really scared to go out there. Because any strong smell triggers. Right now, they order Chinese food. So I'm really nervous. Um, I'm gonna eat my spaghetti and mushrooms that I made with, uh, um. Oh, you used the mushroom. Turkey sausage, yeah. Okay, that wasn't a bad buy. You said poops cooking. I only I made it time. so it didn't waste. Oh, that's good. That's good. The pressures are making you cook something. Okay, so you have to order. Some I didn't buy it this time. So you have to order no. some so that's been really good i've been eating that for three days now mm. it was really good it's really good so i'm gonna eat that for lunch i think this is the last bowl i can eat because it's almost done and then i'm gonna take a nap after that but i've been really hungry this is show all of that It's really big at night because after I eat all day. Right now, it's not that big. No, I thought you were going to get up. <laughs> I feel like getting up. I know. That's why I wasn't forcing you to get up. Mommy, boo. Mommy, eat boo. Mm -hmm. Mommy, boo. Mommy, boo. Dee. Mm -hmm. Mommy, boo. Dee. Mm -hmm. Millie, watch your back. Mommy, boo. Dee. Millie. Huh? Millie, where's the baby? Where's the baby? Um, baby at that. No, where's the baby? Um, baby at that. Show me the baby. Point at the baby. Baby at that. <laughs> oh, can you give the baby a kiss? Mm, ma. You love the baby? I love the baby. I love the baby in belly. Mm. If one of you know what this baby gonna come and do to you, huh? <laughs> you love the baby? <laughs> baby at that. Mm. Lucas. You want a brother or sister? 
No, it's baby. What do you want, brother or sister? No, baby. No. Dada. You want a baby brother or baby sister? No. Baby brother. She said, she said baby brother. Baby brother or baby sister? Baby brother. Mommy's still in a doctor. Yeah, mommy's still with the doctor. Mommy's almost done. She just got to do the blood work and the urine. And we are off. And free to go. Heartbeat is fine. No, Dad. Mom, oh, Dad. Yeah, they're complaining. Anyway, um. It was pretty cool seeing the baby move. Over around, it's only 11 weeks, and that's pretty cool. Thus far, the doctor pretty much said everything is healthy. And now we gotta, we gotta wait, pretty much, for next week for the sonogram for 12 weeks or whatnot. I don't care, buddy. Oh. I'm not feeling good guys. I'm feeling nauseous all of a sudden. I think it's the flavor of my mouth, but I don't want to brush my, t my tongue again with the peppermint because sometimes it'll make me, because I just ate, it'll make me want to throw up. Mm. Right now I don't feel like throwing up, I just feel queasy. Cut open those little oranges for them to eat. Clementine? Yeah. Cause I was standing there and I was like, oh my gosh! I had that's how I had to eat the watermelon while I was doing it. The watermelon surprisingly was like very refreshing. It was like ice cold. I was like, oh yes. Now I have a nasty taste in my mouth. All right, let me see your belly. You look three months? Yeah. You are. From Sunday. Look. So what's up to the vlog, man? Right? So what up? So what up? Hit him with the bar. Hey, yeah, there's always a guy there one and two. You wanna see it? You wanna see it? You wanna wanna see a goddamn You wanna see your face? Always see ten. Oh, ten holes in it. We at the um, sonogram place right now, and this is week 12 in like one day, two days, something like that. And thus far, you know, baby's healthy. Um, once you do this checkup and this blood work, again, uh, confirm our child's health as well, and um, yeah. These kids are just having fun running back and forth now. First when we came, they were having issues with, you know, being in there. Well, not Lucas, Millie. And now they're just playing out front. And I'm just picturing all the germs that's on this pole. And yeah, hopefully you don't put their hands in their eyes or mouth, ears or whatever, who knows. I'll have to wash it as soon as we get inside.
13 weeks. So I'm like, That's this lady hard. was so annoying. Like, I was like, you was like saying everything opposite than what my gynecologist was saying. But anyway, if she's she's measuring a week ahead, I guess. You think that's why the lady said she's changing my due date? Yeah, because she said, uh, I think you're coming a little bit sooner. So she did do it off a week, though. So what time is the least busiest time? She said 8.45 a.m. I said, I will be here. Our baby's like... Growing. Growing. It look Growing. big. Yeah, I'm like, like, yeah, like, what in the world? And we're not having sex? I haven't had sex for like, how long? Two months? Since May, right? Since May, right? We're in July. So the last time we had sex was in May. The end of May. So technically a month and some... A month and a half. And a week. It feel like two years. Anyway, um, we need to start stroking or something Why? Uh, to get the the walls. To, you know, yeah, because it's getting tight right now. So you gotta loosen it up. It's you. okay. We didn't I have sex for how many months with Millie? Uh, but we did the exercise with my finger okay. like twice. But you know, your vagina could open up. Is know how to release babies. A little motion is gonna help make things a little bit easier, you know. Uh, and release some daddy stress too. Yeah, man, you're, the only, you're the only one stress here. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So, you know, our baby's growing quickly and healthy, which is number one on the list right now. After all those vomit days, yeah, this baby is pulling everything. You didn't throw up yesterday, though. You're good. But what was I going to say? Um, it's a beautiful thing to see. The sonograms is exciting. Um, I feel like it's the same with every kid. Um, you know, it's funny walking in there because that's the same place that we went to the sonogram to, to see Millie and whatnot in the room. And then to see Millie physically here to actually watching another baby is like cool. Because, you know, at that moment, you're only thinking about that one child. And you're not thinking about the day of bringing another child into that room, you know. So, it's cool experiencing that. And, you know, she wasn't really... We can't, we couldn't record in there. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to record because there's so many signs on the wall in the room. I felt like I was breaking the law. <laughs> and, then like, I was just like, you know what? Let me not do this let me just enjoy the moment um we're not gonna find out the gender it's like really difficult you know but i have my assumptions right now and i think i'm just believing that we're having another boy <laughs> or whatnot because i'm looking at the sonogram you shouldn't do that i think you're gonna be disappointed no i'm looking at the son i looked at the sonogram and you know how you just get that feeling it was just one of those feeling moments that's all that's all that just Calm me down, put me at ease or whatever. Because those are my tippy toes or whatever. You know, because I want to, we want, I want another boy for sure. But obviously, if I have a girl, I'm going to love my daughter no matter what. Like, there's no changing that. Oh, okay. We're, yeah, we're not gonna have the reaction. I'm not gonna have the reaction to that reaction. But the thing is, my main concern is health. Like 100% health. Like that comes before any gender it's just that you know i want I, w I want another boy i want lucas to have a brother that's close enough in age you know six years is kind of stretching it you know if we even you know if you want to continue our journey or whatever the case may be you know yeah, and healthy enough and stuff like that like you know god willing you know we can go we're able to continue the journey of because yeah, it's not me carrying our babies. It's, yeah, of course I'm here to produce to help, but obviously it's all my wife to, you know, be like, yeah, baby, 